But I did come up with a more unified theory. I said, how is it that some of these doctors have said that you've had a PVD? It might be from having performed an OCT. Now, an OCT, an ocular uh, uh, coherence tomograph, uh, looks get, gets very high resolution of this area right here. That shouldn't be there. Uh, here, right here. Um, the, the layers of the retina and about a half a millimeter in front of the retina. It doesn't image anything right here. Um, and the doctors had done an OCD, OCT and said, uh, you had a PVD. I think what may have happened is he didn't have a posterior vitreous detachment in the traditional sense of a complete collapse, you know, where this, this uh, outer vitreous cortex pulls away from the retina and you get this loose and redundant uh, loose membrane in the middle part of the eye. I think what may have happened is he might have had a very slight partial separation of the vitreous right back here, creating a potential space between the retina and that vitreous cortex membrane, which is not in the process of separating. It might just pull away just a little bit and create this potential space that's called the premacular bursa. Um, and that might be where he has something trapped in that space.